good to go back. It's this one from Tom Booster. Got too much on it. Oh. It has, and he's pushed it through. Three, it's now Scotland one, Canada three. And the crowd like it. Good end, guys. So it worked out pretty favourably for Scotland in the end after that mistake. And they have ended up with two red counters. Has he go, done enough? Go, 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 go! Yeah! Ah, great shot by Glenn Howard. They will pick up the two. That means after seven ends, Canada back in the lead. Scotland four, Canada six. So the last stone of this eighth end. Just making sure. The mistake really by Canada led to that too. Right. And that means that after eight ends, it's now Scotland six, Canada six. Yeah, yeah, for a long yeah. You can only watch and wait. Scottish bench trying to look cool and relaxed, but I'm sure they're not. Yeah, Tenth end. Yeah, Last stone. Whoa, hot, hot. Has he done enough? Not this one's looking pretty good. It levels things up at seven each after ten. So here is last stone of the eleventh end. And they've made it. Canada have retained the world championship. They are the 2012 world men's champions. Scotland ran them close all the way into an extra end and he can hardly believe it. How delighted is he? Yeah, father and son there <laughs> celebrating together. Team Glenn Howard, <laughs> World Champions 2012. Tell us, how does it feel? Uh, you have no idea. I, I, I personally won my first one 25 years ago and this one's just as, just as special or maybe more so. Just, uh, I, I can't give enough credit to my team. They just played so well all year, made everything. Craig made the two chip shots in the extra end. We hung in there. It wasn't our A game, but we got her done with our B-plus game. And uh, you know, uh, Brewster and the boys threw everything they had at us, and we got a little fortunate. Well, they did. They, they ran you close. Oh, close. And, and, and Tommy had a, a makeable shot, which he threw a good shot, and it didn't curl for him. I don't know why. It was just a hair straighter tonight. We all got kind of burned on the little straight, but the ice was fantastic, and uh, uh, it just feels great to win. Were you worried watching that shot in the 10th at the end oh, of the day? Oh, yeah, because you have no control, right? If, if, if Tommy makes it, it's game over. He's the world champion, and uh, we got fortunate he didn't, he didn't make it. And in terms of the way the team's played and the camaraderie you've had, and, and you know, compared to your other wins, this is, the, I guess, as you get older, they get more special. <laughs> You're right, because I don't ever think I'm coming back. But, uh, they do get more special. I, I, have to, I have to agree. It just feels really, really cool that we can, uh, we're, we're still competitive and we're playing well, and it feels awesome to be world champs. It was a great final. Well played. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. The world champions! So from the World Men's Curling Championship in Basel, that's all for 2012.
Canada running out eventual winners over Team Scotland. Sweden picking up the bronze. So, hope you've enjoyed our coverage from the Sinyaka Palette. So, from Alison and myself, thanks for listening. <laughs>